paid 15 Hi everyone, welcome to the latest video. Just here at a jumble trail, which is basically like a garage sale, where you get a map, like for example, you get a map of a jumble trail, and you can print off that, print off the roads. Sometimes you get a PDF for online, we can print off, have it on your phone. And then I've done this separately, gone down the Facebook page, seeing what they've got. So I'm at 17 Nursery Gardens, 11 turtles and a car truck apparently so i've got to wait till near 10 to go there it's the 18th of april today at 9 15 a.m so what i'll do for this video i'll show you around as much as i can and then what i'll do i'll do a separate haul so you see the haul before this and i'll speak to you soon first few pickups of the day i was beaten to a only for north's box set by a pain the ass reseller I guarantee of the reseller recognized him and all but way it goes, two pound each, can't go wrong. I paid 15 pounds for all these turtles and the bike and this. So that should be, in theory, worth a fair amount. Because they're quite a, some of them are the olders, like that one, I think a few newer ones. But we'll see. Brilliant. £1.50 for all these Mr. Men books. You can't grumble, can you? £1.50 for all of these. They do it to spare if you need any, but they'll go in a set. Crack on. There's more up that way. And I've just over here. The next stall was just behind me. All the goodies. So I'll go in there and have a look. Perfect. All the maps. Saw nine last night. They're mine. Brilliant, bang on. I think the next one's over there. I'm not 100% sure though, because there's Arnold Road, and I don't know how far Arnold Road goes down. It's a bit of a sod, but never mind. I'll have a look around there and I'll speak to you in a bit. From the boot sale over the road, I've got this risk. Brilliant. That's what I came for the risk. Perfect. Yes, got it. Off to the next location. This is what I'm using, if you can see that there. The Google Maps again. It's a bit of a pain, but it'll do for now. Just going from over that way on the there. So I go to Nine Elizabeth Drive. Oh, there's the first the jumble I want to go to up top there. There's one to the right. I think I saw one over there somewhere. So who I can find. Hopefully the Hornby train set, but who knows? It looks like it'd been snapped up. I didn't think it was still be there. To be honest, a bit of a shame. Never mind. Going from that location. All the way over here somewhere. I did see one. Um, in a corner somewhere, I think. And it's a nice, beautiful day. Annoyingly, I think I got beat to the Hornby train set. Boo! I think it's from that reseller guy who I saw. Quite a tall chap, quite a bit stocky. I thought, <laughs> yeah, all X's and question marks and hashtags on my over my head. <laughs> Cartoon. Oh, on with that word, on to the next one. Jeez. I've seen two already. There's two over there. One for clothing. And then you've got one over here. I've no idea where this road is, but I'll go down and have a butcher's in a sec. Okay, it's mad. Never mind, never mind. Pick up the bargains, the bargains. Fresh air. So, so from three stalls that way, I've got Scrabble Rum Ink Rub. Never heard of it. Um, and this for two pounds. Not too bad though. Pretty pleased with that. Nothing from that jumble. Uh, go this way. Charles Road, or if I find him more before Charles Road, I'll stop it. Looks like the next one's just up there, and then there's a couple around that way. 
So I head this way. See what I can find. It's weirdly confusing the jumbles where they are with the map and the roads and all that. Ah, even from that one over there, nothing there. A 76 Charles Road. A shop over here. I parked over there. I'm gonna crack on and go down that way. Um, see what I can find. Oh, God, sweating. Looks like there's four on Berry's Croft Road. Four. So I go down and see if I can find the four. This one's just behind me, so I go to that one, see what I can find. Next one's in front there. See what I can find there. Problem with these jumble trails is you park where you can only park. I park around the corner. And some up here, I think. Up on the right, okay, there's a few up here, so I can see what I can find in those ones. Didn't get anything from the ones behind me, which was a shame. Oh well, we have to see on the next lot where I am. There's nothing there from the one behind, as you can see, clothing items and stuff and bits and pieces. Haven't got a GoPro, so I can't film at the stalls, which is a shame. I'd like to, but... It costs quite a bit of money, but I will one day get a GoPro at some point. Looks like there's one down there. And then some behind me. She's over here. The clothing and bits and pieces. And I think there's one in round the corner or something somewhere. Let's see what I can find here. Next location I'm going to is Warpool Avenue. See if I can find anything there. It's quite a nice day to be honest, but <sighs> sweaty though. But we shall see what I can find. I'll speak to you in a bit. Got this Egyptian book from a lady across the road. This goes for around about 10 to 12 quid on eBay all day long. And then this one, Narnia C.S. Lewis, almost new. It's got a couple of bits down the bottom. I thought, why not go for it? Narnia C.S. Lewis, £1.50 altogether. Pretty decent. Looks like this way here, Warpool Road, is massive. There's quite a few here. There's one over there, and there's one there. I can zoom you in. Quite a few goodies there, I can see. Oh, let's have a look. There was nothing over there at that stall or that stall. There's a couple of stalls over here which I'll head to and have a look at in a sec. As I was heading to Commercial Road, I think it's called, I stumbled across another two, possibly three, jumbles. I was like, okay, a bit random, innit? Just up ahead. <sighs> Who knows what's what when you go around when it's not proper map selected. Oh well, see what I can find. At the last store, there was some turtles and a Donatello pizza place, but they wanted 25 and the figures were a bit grubby and a bit. Um, used because bits come off and that's on the other side. Declined it. I thought, nah, can't be spending 25 quid and stuff. That really won't make me much money back anyway. So, anyway, let's carry on. I'm on Commercial Road by the park there, and there's a couple of jumbles one up here, and then one up there, and then I think there's another one up, up the top, and it goes all the way down the other end. I might sit in the park for five minutes and have some lunch before I head off to more jumbles. Going to now five minutes in the park just to have some lunch. Didn't know the park is, to be honest, it's not been stained for years. <laughs> Even though it's only about 40 minutes from my house. After being to the couple of um, jumbles down there on a the trail. So I'll speak to you in a bit. This place here is called Stains Park. Very apt name, but still cool. One of these train tracks, little trains. Looks like that one has miniature ones. 
Yeah, so that's right, a little miniature one that we used to have at our old primary school, Riverview Primary School. People are over there doing swings and just chilling. I'm going to sit down and chill, a bit of lunch, I think. But before I move on to more of the jumbles, I'm not sure where the rest of them are up here on the um, commercial road, but it's I'll have a find out anyway. So there was a stall with a dad and a young lad, his son, and they got this Ferrari car. It's a Ferrari GTO 1984 car. It all opens up. Doors do as well, which is cool. Pretty good condition. That should fetch B&B money, bread and butter stuff. Now in Parkside Place, there's a few jumbles. One over there, and one just over there, and there's another one to the right as well. Let's see what I can find in these ones. So it's now one o'clock, got about an hour or so before it's supposed to be finished. People are staying a little bit longer, I suppose. But people are thinning out now, to be honest. They're over in the pub, having a pint in a garden, pub garden, or in their friends and family house in the garden, just chilling nice weather like what 20 degrees nearly but i'll go around a few more and see what i can find if anything if not and i'll go home and get it uploaded on friday and then do the haul before because you see this before so yeah i'll speak to you in a bit i had seen a couple of jumble trails but then i took the wrong turn in and i couldn't find them again which was absolute sod there's one down here somewhere i'm sh sure i've seen it down here i just happened to come across them because the map and the stuff so crap. Oh well, speak to a bit. Here's the next jumble. I went to, it wasn't great, but hey ho. Gonna go around this way to the car and then see what the next one is. I'm sure I missed two. I'm 100% positive, but hell knows where they are because the map is useless so it's like having to spot as you go along they've got like notes on the side of the fences or near the um, name of the road I'm thinking that's hard it's about six billion point turns <laughs> oh well should be in a bit just blind luck found two more just blind luck the one and then one next door for the umpteenth time I found more jumble trails <laughs> one ahead and then there's a couple I think yeah one up to the right one straight ahead oh Jesus man M madness isn't it Try the next one. Definitely getting less and less stuff because of the people have been buying it, and then a lot less people going about and trying to remember what roads I've done, I haven't done off. Oh, Jeez. But I'll get there at some point. I've got to go to Booth Drive, I think. The last pickup of the day, each pair of boots, £2 each, and they're all there. Lovely, perfect Nikes and Umbros. Perfect for Monday, they would be worth a fair amount. That's cool. Brilliant, perfect. It's now gone 10 past two. I've now finished going round the jumble trail. And yeah, it's a good day. It was quite a um, nice day all day and a little bit colder earlier, but there was a few resellers I saw in they pick up a good stuff and I missed out a couple of bits, but I still got some of the bits I wanted and found and whatever else. Out of the 97 I probably went around at least 50, 55 stalls because the map system that I'll show you in the whole video it's, it's, it's crazy. But it's best to do a PDF and have it on. Oh I can go there and go there. Anyway, like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Take care. See ya.